Hello, my beautiful ballet babies. Welcome to our second ballet body class. I am Julia. Um, today is a longer class. It was so fun, but it's for the full body. Mostly ballet with a little bit of yoga and Pilates infused in. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you have some ankle slash wrist weights, grab those. If you have little dumbbells, you can use those as well. I never know how to say that word. Tell me how to say it in the comments. So grab your little weights or your other weights. <laughs> if you don't have either, you can do this class just fine without. And meet me on your mat. I will see you there. And I'm Julia, if you're new here, if you're returning, hello. <laughs> Beginning today at the back of our mats, let's keep our feet parallel, right under the hips, soft bend in the knees, and we'll take a big inhale, arms raise up to the sky, fifth position. So elbows are slightly bent, gaze lifts. Exhale, forward fold, deep bend in those knees. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. We're just warming up the arms, the legs. It's a continuous flowy movement. Option to add on a little rise when we get to the top, or you can stay just as you are. For three, really release that neck at the bottom. For two, And one. Nice deep fold. We're planting the hands down and slowly walking all the way forward to a nice plank. Let's lift up those belly buttons towards the spine. Shoulders slightly rounded, soft bend in the elbows. Fingers are nice and spread. Hips up and over, down dog. And we'll begin by walking it out right away. Rising high onto one toe one foot, <laughs> the toes of one foot, and deep bend in the opposite knee. Because I'm sure most of us have more than one toe. <laughs> really get into that hamstring, so really draw that heel all the way, as close as it can to the mat, without forcing, of course. Your more counts here. If your hamstrings are tight, you can always start off with the wider dog. So widen up those feet. They can come as wide as the mat. And then we will roll over the tops of the left toes, stretching out all the bones in the top of the foot, stretching out the shin. And we switch, inhale to rise up, exhale to roll over. Maybe adding some gentle pulses. Once more on each side. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, we roll. Beautiful. Let's rise up on both toes. Turn the toes out, heels in. Walk the hands in just a touch. Deep plie, which means a deep bend in those knees. And we shift the weight forward. Nice, strong plank. For 10, we're strong in our plank, straight line through the body. We can inhale as we go forward, exhale as we plie. Deep bend, see if that bum can kiss those heels. For five, moving with control. Three more. For two. Last one. We're staying forward in our beautiful plank. Let's turn those toes in. Hold in here for five. For four. Three. Two. And one. Knees lower. Bum to heels. Little rest in child. Let's bring those Arms beside the body, gentle sway side to side, getting into the hips. Your forehead is down on the mat. And let's come back to our breath. Slow breath in through the nose, let the belly expand. 
slow breath out through the nose. Belly button draws up. Next inhale, let's walk those fingertips forward, weight shifts forward, back to plank. We're nice and strong here. Let's spread all the fingers, little bends in the elbows, legs are nice and straight. Inhale, that right leg lifts, knee to nose, knee opens, comes in, and we extend three-legged dog, lower to plank. That's one. Left toes lift. Knee to nose. Thigh lifts up, up, up. Knee opens. Toes are pointed. In. Extend. Three-legged dog. And lower. We'll do two more on each side. Inhale to lift. Exhale. We contract. We open. Draw it in. Three-legged and lower, plank, inhale to lift, toes are pointed like a lovely ballerina, exhale, contract, really lift that thigh up to the chest, knee opens, in, we expand, and lower, last one on each side, we got this, plank, lift, knee in, open, in, lift, 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 expand, and lower. Last one, you guys, plank, lift, nice and graceful. Knee in, lift to the side, back through center, get a little bit higher, expand, and lower. Taking a moment to catch our breath in down dog. Really melt that heart down towards the mat. Slight bend in the knees, tail tilts up. And let's inhale forward to plank. Bringing our right hand in, we roll over the tops. Sorry, we roll over the outside of the left foot. And we bring that right arm up to the sky. We can place the top foot in front for a little tripod. And let's lower the arm. And we lift, really lift up through those hips, draw the right hip forward so it's stacked right on top of the left. Beautiful ballerina arm here for 10. And nine, lift, lift, lift up through that side body, through that waist. Wanna see everybody get a little bit higher. We have five more counts. Use the beautiful arm movement to distract you for three. A little bit higher through those hips for two. And one. Coming through center, nice and controlled. Right hand steps in and we roll onto the outside of the right foot. <laughs> Left arm to sky. We lower that arm and we lift it up for 10. Lift up through the hips, through the side body. This time let our left hip roll forward so it's stacked right on top of the right. And use that beautiful arm movement as a distraction. You can even follow the arm with your head if you'd like, as we do in dance. We have five more counts. Come back to your breath. Let's get a little bit higher. For three. Woo! A little balance challenge too. For two. Last one. And we're rolling back through center, holding that plank. Expand through the crown of the head, through the backs of the heels, knees down. <laughs> Child's good work, you guys. Let's open up the knees wide this time. We'll take a nice, slow breath. <laughs> Let's start with an exhale. Walking fingertips forward, forehead to mat. Next inhale, light on fingertips. They float over to the left. Before we lower, we expand. 
and exhale to release. Inhale, we're light on fingertips, walking all the way over to the right. We expand and we release. Inhale takes us back through center. Let's walk the hands up towards the body and we will bring those knees in, sitting on our toes, little toe sit here, little wrist stretch. We've already done quite a bit on our wrist, so we'll start with some circles in one direction and then the other. And then let's bring our two fists together at the knuckles and keeping those knuckles connected, we gently extend in front. Don't worry about the arms getting straight. We can finish with some more circles or we can very gently roll over. We want the top of one hand leaning back a little bit and then the other. And then we can also spin the fingers around so they're facing behind us, getting into the backs of the arms. Beautiful, you guys. Let's take a big inhale, arms to sky through fifth. Exhale, we release. Nice and slow. We can untuck the toes now. Inhale, right arm comes up and over. Nice side body stretch. And back through center. And we lower to the right. Inhale through fifth. Exhale to plank. We're not done our plank work just yet. <laughs> Let's hop up to our nice, beautiful plank. This is going to be a little bit of a different sequence. So stay with me. We'll go really slow. Right hand walks in one step. We roll onto the outside of the right foot left arm to sky. Let's point those left toes and draw them up the leg, up to the thigh if we can, but the calf is okay. Top arm reaches up and over. Keeping that leg lifted, we travel back through center plank. That knee comes in, 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 toe is pointed. We twist to the right, leg extends and grounds down. Lift those hips up, fall in triangle. And we lower, left knee bends, right leg is extended. Big inhale, left arm reaches up and over. And back through center, we switch sides. Once more, up and over. So this is our little break. Back through center, we pause second position with the arms, turning through plank, tuck back toes, left leg extends to the sky, three-legged dog, lower, down dog, inhale to plank, and now to the other side. <laughs> left hand walks in, roll onto the outside of the left foot, right arm to sky. We point those top toes, lift the leg up to the calf or the thigh, and we lift up through the hips. Top arm reaches up and over. We come through center plank. Leg is lifted, knee draws in through the center line and across. It extends out. We ground down, hips lift, arm lifts. We lower, bending that right leg, left leg is long. And take a nice big breath in, side body stretch through center, left arm up and over. Inhale to switch. We can point or flex those toes, whatever comes more naturally to you. Through center, second position, spinning forward, left toes tuck. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog, and down dog. We're gonna do each side one more time. Inhale through center. Right hand steps in, we swivel. Left arm to sky, left toes point. 
We bend that leg. Lift, 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 up, up, up. Top arm reaches. And we swivel through center. Knee comes in, nice and flowy. It extends, all in triangle. We lift, lift, lift. Left knee bends as we lower. Inhale to reach. Exhale through center. Inhale to reach. Exhale through center. Inhale up and over. Nice, beautiful arms. Exhale through center. We pause. Swivel. Back toes tuck. Three legged dog. Down dog. <laughs> you might have to readjust the feet. Inhale to plank. Left arm in. We swivel. Arm to sky. Toes point. We bend the knee. This is called a PK, I believe, if my ballet knowledge is still up to par. Lift those hips. Top arm up and over. Through center. Knee slowly comes in, like we're moving in slow motion. Crosses over and extends. Lift those hips. And slowly bend with the right knee, bringing it in. Inhale, right arm up and over. Exhale through center, little pause here. Inhale, up and over. Exhale through center. Inhale, up and over. Exhale through center. We pause, second position with the arms. Spinning forward, back toes tuck. Three-legged dog, two, down dog. Good work, you guys. Let's take a moment here in our down dog. Walk it out and then we'll meet <laughs> on our knees. Amazing. Let's just catch our breath. Hands can come to the thighs. Let's close down the eyes and reconnect with our breath. Amazing work, my Ballerina babies. <laughs> Out through the nose for one, two, three. In through the nose for one, two, three. Let's gently roll over onto left or right side and we'll just pause through a little butterfly stretch. Soles of the feet come together. You can use your knees to very gently traction those legs towards the earth, but we're never forcing just gentle pressure, or you can walk your fingertips forward and release the top, the neck, I was gonna say the top of the neck, but the neck and the head. We're just here for a few moments. Next inhale, maybe we're lengthening through that spine, fingertips walk forward even more. Exhale, release deeper. Inhale, takes us all the way back up. Let's extend those legs, lift up, lift the bum up and place it back down. We're nice and tall. Everyone, let's start off with a little bend in the knees. Inhale, arms to sky. We can use our beautiful fifth always. And keeping that nice straight spine, begin to exhale, hinging forward from the hips. Nice long spine, nice long arms when you reach your Maximum point, releasing the hands, neck and head releases. And you can gently release the neck from side to side, or you can just stay sat in. We want to keep connection with the low belly and upper thigh to protect our low back. So as long as you can do this, feel free to very gradually start to walk those feet forward, getting a little bit into the hamstrings. But remember, it never matters what the pose looks like. It's always the benefits we're getting and practicing safely. Three more breaths here. And then more hard work. <laughs> Good 
just like we did before inhale spine lengthens heart lifts tiny little halfway lift the baby halfway lift exhale we melt deeper release deeper inhale let's roll all the way up we'll bend those knees planting the feet on the floor hip width planting the hands down fingers facing forward and let's lift those hips up to the sky reverse tabletop you may need to bring the feet in a tiny touch we're gonna lift up the right toes knee bends and we lower down we lower those hips, elbows bend, getting into the triceps, and lift back up. Left leg lifts, toes are pointed always, and we lower. Hips and arms lower, and back up. Just once more on each side. We lift, and we lower. Lower, and lift. Left leg lift. We're moving always so flowy, so gracefully. Lower and lift. Get those hips nice and high. Let's draw the ribs in towards each other. Belly button towards the spine. Right leg lifts. We're going to extend. It taps down and lifts back up and down. Now the left side. Left leg lifts, knee bends. Leg extends, toes tap, lift, and lower. Beautiful ballet legs. Once more on each side. Remember to breathe. <laughs> Beautiful, let's lift those hips up a little bit more and slowly lower them down to the mat. Good job, we'll roll up the wrist one more time. We've done a lot on the wrist today, so let's nurture them a little bit too. You can do any of the stretches we did before as well, whatever feels good for you. And let's take a little release of the neck, side to side. And then maybe some half semicircles. If you have your ankle weights and you want a little bit more of a challenge for those glutes, grab those now and pop them on your ankles. So I'm just going to grab mine. They're off camera because if you know me, you know I like aesthetics <laughs> and they looked a little bit messy. And so I love these ones. They're so pretty. We actually used to do stretch and strength class when I did ballet, so it was once a week and we wore a lot heavier than this ankle weights on our ankles and we do tons of exercises and then once you took them off your leg would literally fly. It was very fun. All right, so we're going to come into a little yoga squat, release those hips can be as wide or as narrow as you'd like. You can gently release from side to side. You can use your hands down if you need. Heels can come up. Just listen to your body. And then you can settle into center if this feels good. Beautiful. Let's extend the right leg. Left leg bends. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Fifth position. Exhale, left arm lowers, right arm up and over. And we'll switch sides through second. And back once more. Coming up, we'll keep that left hand down, pushing up onto our knee, and we're gonna get into the glutes now. So get nice and comfy. That leg can be on a little angle whatever feels good for you. And right leg is extended. One straight line from the toes all the way up the spine. So if you look down, it shouldn't be in front or behind. One straight line. And we're gonna lift with control, arm and leg. Arm can come all the way over and lower. Lifting with that right glute. Nice and slow. 
for five. Oh, I'm already feeling it in both glutes actually. For four. Don't worry about the height. The leg is not turned out. So it's toes are pointing forward. We're getting into that outer glute. We have two more, maybe follow the hand with the head if you'd like. And last one, we're staying up and we're pulsing for 10. Little baby pulses through the arm and the leg for eight, seven, six, five, whoo, four, three, two, one. Beautiful leg stays up, arm comes through second. We're tapping down in front and lifting up, tapping down neutral. We're tapping in front and tapping neutral. Let's try to keep the body as still as we can. We have five. For four, that arm can flow in whatever way feels natural to you. For three, <laughs> for two, and one. Get that leg up, beautiful. And now let's just hold up. We're gonna hold for five. Maybe reach that arm overhead for four. Growing through the leg, growing through the arm for three, two, and one. Reach, reach, reach. Lower. Beautiful. Coming up. Let's lower the right arm. Left arm comes up and over. Side body stretch. And back through center. We'll switch sides. <laughs> so the right knee bends. It's just started raining here, which actually is a little bit nice because I'm getting warm. Right knee bends. Left leg extends. And we'll begin. Inhale. Arms up through fifth. And we reach over. Back up through second and to the other side. I may have done it backwards on this side, but that's okay. <laughs> through second and over. Coming up, we keep that right hand down. Pushing up, getting into your position. So adjust that bent knee, bent leg. That hand is nice and strong, slight little soft bend in the supporting arm and our leg is in a neutral line with our body. Toes are pointed, let's lift, arm follows and we lower. We lift, our body moves together. It's like everything is connected. We have five more. Let's draw that belly button in towards the spine. Our core is turned on. When we get to the top, we do an extra little reach before we lower back down. I think we have four. For three, really visualize that left glute lifting the leg. Don't worry about the height, focus on length. Last two. And one, we're staying up, pulsing for 10, through the arm and the leg. Nine, eight, seven, six, I'm feeling it. Five, four, three, two, and one. We hold the leg up, arm comes through second. We tap down in front and we open up. We tap in front and through neutral for five. The head can follow the arm. For four. Last three. Shoot. And one through center. Let's lift up. We're holding for five. Four. Three is my leg falling. I hope not. Two. Get it a little bit higher. One. We expand and we lower, lifting up through center. Right arm comes up and over. Back through, second, and we'll bring the leg in, <laughs> pointing, facing forward. Hands come to tabletop. Let's tuck those toes, hips to sky, down dog. Beautiful. We're going to walk up to the top of our mat like a beautiful ballerina. So the first thing we're going to do is flex that left foot, weight goes into the right foot. I feel like the left leg is being sucked up into the hip. We point the toes 
So they brush the mat, knee bends, and we take a baby step forward. Right toes point, knee bends, and forward all the way up. When we arrive, nice deep bend in those knees. We can catch opposite elbows. Let the neck release and gentle sway side to side. Really release the neck. You can even nod yes or shake your head no to get a little bit deeper into the neck. And then we'll exhale, release our fingertips to the shins or to the earth. And we'll very gently roll onto the outside of that left foot and then back through center. We're getting into the outside of the foot, maybe even all the way up to the IT band, trying to stretch out all those little parts of the body that we don't get into very often. And just rotate or switch between both sides. And we'll meet in the middle, deep bend in the right knee, Inhale, left arm to sky, beautiful twist. Exhale, we switch, deep bend in the left knee, right arm to sky. That hand can slide up the shin and release. Once more, we inhale to twist and open. Exhale to release. Inhale, we twist. Exhale, we release. Big inhale, arms up through fit. Exhale, we fold over. Inhale, up. And this time, we tanju. So those toes slide out, leg is long. Two second position. Let's go ahead and take a nice deep bend in the knees. Coming into goddess pose for all my yogis or grand plie for my ballerinas. And we'll just gently stretch here. So we're not fully dumping into the hips, but we can release a little bit. It feels very nice. Gentle sway side to side. And we'll stand and we'll walk those feet in to a nice, beautiful first position. We'll actually go ahead now and take the ankle weights off of our ankles and we'll put them onto our wrists because they're also wrist weights. So little break for you <laughs> while we do this. You are welcome. All right you guys let's come into first position. Heels are together. Toes are pointing out at about Depends on your turnout, but just whatever point feels comfortable to you. And we'll bring our arms to Brava, which is like we're holding a beautiful big beach ball down <laughs> in front of us. And we'll rise up onto those toes. Walk in so that those heels are connected. And we're going to plie, which means we bend the knees and we rise up. Beautiful. We plie. and we rise and our body is straight keep going i'm going to show you from the side we're not hinging forward our body is nice and straight it's as if nothing is moving other than the legs let's do 10 okay and if you'd like ooh, we can add on some arms so whatever arms Feel natural to you, maybe up through fifth as we rise, down through first as we lower, up through fifth, or we can do fifth through second as we lower. I'm gonna keep playing around, maybe even first position to rise, second position to lower. I think that's a goodie for me. Let's do eight more, you guys. I know it's a lot more, but that's okay. When we get to the top, we squeeze those glutes and we bend. We have six. We got this. With control, nice and calm. For five. 
arms are flowy. We can even, ooh, <laughs> challenging your balance. We can even follow the arm with the head for three and two. Really squeeze at the top, it'll help you to balance. And one. We're gonna lower and do some gentle pulses. Arms can be wherever. I'm gonna hold them in first position in front of me for 10 and nine, eight. Let's draw those shoulder blades back, belly button towards spine. Nice, tall spine, beautiful little smile on your face. For five, get a little bit deeper. Four, three, two, one. We stretch, rise, rise, rise. Arms through fifth, staying in our rise. Arms open through second, and we lower. <laughs> Good. Okay, we'll come into some more plie. So we will begin, we'll start with the feet. We'll begin in third position. So the back foot is turned out about 45 and the front heel is connected to about the middle of the back foot and that's turned out 45 as well. Beautiful, we'll keep our hands on our hips for now. We point that left foot, leg extends, deep bend, grand plie. We straighten the right leg and it comes in, that's called a tonju. Okay, so we've switched positions now. Tonju through second, left leg straightens and in. Tonju through second, left leg straightens, toes are always pointed. And now we can add some arms. So let's bring our arms. This is third. We have that beach ball with that right arm and our left arm is open in second. As we tonju, we open the arm with the leg. Arms come in as we bend. They open and we switch. If this is too much, don't worry. Just focus on the legs. Open and switch. Let's do eight. And the head, of course, follows the arms. We're moving gracefully. I actually last night looked up ballet classes in Byron and I found one, I found an adult class. So I'm gonna go next week, I will report back. But filming the last class, the first ballet body class, it made me miss being in the studio so much. So that's my little story of the day. <laughs> really point through that toe, deep bend in the legs. We stretch, point, 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 and in. How many do we have to go? I have no idea, but I'm gonna say six, <laughs> which is way more than I said, but you know me, I never count properly. For four, nice and strong through those arms. They're getting a really beautiful workout. For three, last two, Moving in your own timing. Hopefully you have some classical music on because that makes it way more fun. And this is our last one. Amazing. Ooh, let's lower those arms, give them a little shake. We'll turn our feet in. We're not done with our arms just yet. I am sorry, <laughs> but I'm not sorry. Starting with hands on the hips once more. Coming up onto the ball of the right foot, we rise and switch just like so. Beautiful. Now we're gonna bring the arms down to Brabha and we're going to slowly raise them through first and all the way up to fifth. Head can follow and back down. You can switch the feet as slowly or as quickly as you'd like. And we have those arms once more. We raise, we're keeping a nice bend in those elbows. And we lower. Now we're gonna switch it up a little bit. As we raise, we're going to cross like a little fluttery butterfly. <laughs> and we lower. If your weights are heavier than mine, you'll be really feeling it. But 
regardless weights or not. It's beautiful exercise for balance. Working the legs, working the core, and working the arms. So always activating the core, drawing that belly button to spine or ribs towards each other helps with our balance. And we're done, so see when I talk, it goes quicker. <laughs> we're going to walk over to one side of our mat now. We're not done with our arms just yet. And we're going to come back to that third position that we just learned. If you have more turnout, if you've danced, you can take fifth position. For anyone new, that's new to ballet, I should say. That's third, but the heel slides up, so it's closer to that big toe and the inner thighs are turned out more. Remember, never cranking, never forcing, always allowing your body to guide you. So we'll start with the feet once more. We're going to plie, so that means bend the knees, back toes point, and back toes steps across, taking little tiny steps all the way to the right side of the mat. We lower, plie, Switch. <laughs> the camera will shake with that. I'm sorry. Plie. Back toe points. It crosses over a little baby step. These are called kurus. Step and step. Step and step. It's like the toes are chasing each other, keeping those thighs externally rotating. Lower. Plie. And switch. And the camera will shake. I apologize. Now, if we'd like to add the arms up through first, through third, we plie and we open 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 when we get to the right side we're going to crew on the spot and we're going to pulse those arms up and down for 10 soft bend in the elbows let's lift those elbows up for nine for eight seven six little smile five four you're so graceful three two and one, plie and switch. We switch sides. I wish I had music right now. And we're pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You can add the head, three, always two, one, plie and switch. Amazing. We are almost well done the arms let us gracefully walk to the center of our mat we are facing forward we're going to come into some triceps so we'll shift the weight to the right foot coming up onto the ball of the left foot we'll show you the, the leg motion first as we've been doing extend and in toes can be pointed or they can tap down to help with balance we're hinging forward slightly so we're a straight line from the toes all the way up through that spine out the top of the head. Beautiful. Now let's bring the arms in by our side. We extend them back, squeeze those triceps and in. Extend, squeeze and in. Continue in this way. We'll be doing this for about one minute and I'll add on little options that you can take if you'd like. Option one floating the legs so instead of tapping down we float and really remember to add that extra little pulse and squeeze of the triceps at the top we can continue like this or we can extend shift the weight forward warrior three arms travel forward and back with control, we bring it in. <laughs> we'll do one more minute, you guys. So take whatever option suits your body best today. And I'm just gonna guess how long the minute is ah, because I don't have a clock. <laughs> so let's say we have 30 seconds, wherever you are, Remembering to really squeeze those arms at the top. And we're getting a little glute workout on the right side as well. So go you. We're almost done. After this, we have a little ballet ab section and then we're all done. For 10, if you want to come with me and try one three-legged, it's not three-legged, one warrior three, 
do that now. Arms float forward, leg expands, arms float back. We come up and in. Amazing, rising up, switching sides. Right leg extends with the arms. We'll start making contact, getting our balance, making sure our spine is in a nice straight line with that extended leg and really squeezing those triceps at the top. Elbows stay in. Now we can move on if we'd like to floating the leg. It just hovers ever so slightly above the ground. Come back to your breath, moving with control in your own timing. And if you'd like to move on to the Warrior Three version, we expand, arms float forward, leg expands, arms expand, arms float back, and we rise up and in. <laughs> Take your option. If you're doing the Warrior Three, don't worry about the height of the leg. That thigh is internally rotating, tops of toes are facing the earth. I'm getting very warm again. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have 30 seconds. Everybody, let's smile. Let's really squeeze those triceps. If you'd like to do one more warrior three, now is the time. Expand. We're growing through the fingers, growing through the toes, back in. I don't know what I just did there. And now let's actually finish with some pulses. So we extend the leg, extend the arm. Leg can touch down or we can float it. And let's pulse either just the arms or arms and leg for 10, nine, eight. Lift the belly button up towards the spine for five, four, three, two, one. And lower. My left glute is also on fire. So, geez, very good. <laughs> okay, let's shake out those arms. We'll take a big inhale up through fifth. Exhale, forward fold. Once more, big inhale up through fifth, maybe rising up. Exhale, we fold. And we'll come all the way down this time and lower onto our bums. <laughs> we are finishing up with some ballet abs, so you can go ahead and take those weights off of your arms. If you'd like a little bit extra, put them back onto your ankles. Otherwise, just throw them off to the side. Ooh. And we'll reach those fingertips forward, this time slight round in the spine, grounding down through the feet. And we're gonna lower nice and slow. Every vertebrae we lower, we then lift lower and we lift this is what i call the jellyfish <laughs> well i don't call it that i just always say when i'm teaching that it reminds me of a jellyfish draw the belly button in towards the spine and we lower all the way down what is my bun gonna do oh it's in the absolute worst position not too high not too low oh well <laughs> okay let's lift those knees to tabletop Right hand comes to the right thigh. Left hand comes behind the head. We imprint our low back. So we press the low back and the mid back into the earth. Knees are right above the hips. We're pressing that thigh into the hand, pressing the hand into the thigh. It's not moving. Just doing this, you'll already feel your core turning off. And then we're going to extend the left leg and bring it in. If it ever becomes too much with the weight, just take them off. We extend and in toes are pointed and beautiful. We extend and in really keeping that pressure between the thigh and the hand. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper, let's inhale together. Exhale, we lift, extend and in. If you've lifted, just make sure that low back is really making contact with the earth. Head is heavy in the hand. If the low back begins to arch up, just come back down. We're working the abs no matter what. 
and in. Extend and in. We have five more. To add another layer, we can extend, reach forward, bring the hand back, and we lower. Extend, forward, back, and lower. Take whatever option suits you. We have three. Really press the thigh into hand, low back into the earth for two and one. Beautiful, we're switching sides. So let's lower down. We bring our left hand to our left thigh, right hand behind the head, we'll start on the ground. Extend the right leg, nice and long, toes are pointed. And in, thigh into hand, hand into thigh, low back into the earth. Moving through in your own timing. Option to lift the head and the shoulders up off of the mat. Continually drawing that belly button towards the spine and imprinting the middle back into the ground. Head is heavy in the hand if it's lifted. We have five more. And we extend, we can reach. Coming back. We lower. That's our third variation. Take whatever suits you. We're almost there. We have three. For two. And one. Beautiful. Let's press both hands into the thighs now and just press the thighs into hands, hands into thighs. Head can be down or up. Actually, let's lower the head for ten. Nine. Eight, low back into the ground. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, you guys. Gently lower, arms open. Legs can windmill side to side. Ooh, releasing the low back. You might have a couple cracks of the back like me. Coming back to our breath. We're almost there. Two more exercises and we are done. Let's bring the feet in we can start with our hands long by our side and we lift the legs up toes are pointed knees are turned out so it's kind of like we're in a first position plie but with pointed toes and we extend those legs now the heels are connected and we bring them in we extend and in this is option one option two let's inhale together bring the hands behind the head Exhale, lift the head and shoulders. Just like this, we extend and in chin is lifted. We have 10. Head is heavy in the hands. Exhale to extend. Inhale to draw them in. For eight, legs are nice and long, toes are pointed. Come down anytime. For five, Four, three, almost there, two, and one. Beautiful, bring them in, lower the head, bring the knees in, and we lower. Last little exercise. Let's inhale our arms to fifth position, and we're going to lower the left arm, bring it back up. Lower the right arm, bring it back up. Inhale together. Exhale, we lift those shoulders up. Lower the left arm and back. As we lower the shoulders, get a little bit higher. For 10 and 9, 8 and 5, 7, 6. Moving nice and flowy, head follows. For 5, belly button towards spine. For 3, two, one. Beautiful. Let's lower both arms, little ankle taps. We reach to the side with the right hand and the left. Very last thing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, almost there, two, Reach a little bit further 
and we are <laughs> we are all done you guys that was such good work my legs feel so heavy but i shut up easily um we are all done so let's come into a little stretch hopefully you guys didn't pop up like that i just got excited let's actually stay on our backs we can remove the ankle weights and we'll just come into a quick cool down beginning with knees to chest gentle sway side to side my bun is really causing me problems <laughs> and then let's go ahead and extend the right leg left leg stays bent inhale we open that hip up exhale it crosses over inhale to open exhale to cross your center we extend the left leg to the sky keeping shoulders in contact with the earth we can point and flex for five or just gently pulse whatever feels better for you And then let's bend the right knee, left foot crosses over top the right thigh, catching behind the thigh or in front of the shin. Coming into a nice stretch for that left glute. Beautiful, we release the cross, lowering the legs over to the right, body opens to the left. We usually twist to the right first, but this is the side we're on <laughs> and we've done a lot of twists already today so that's okay left shoulder is in contact with the earth let's slow down the breath maybe even closing the eyes letting the belly expand as we inhale coming back through center left leg comes long right knee to chest right thigh to chest Inhale to open up the hip, exhale it crosses over. For three, let your breath guide the movement. And we extend the right leg to the sky, shoulders are in contact with the earth. We can either hold behind that thigh or behind the calf and we're pointing and flexing or gently pulsing the leg towards the body for five. The left knee bends, right foot is flexed, crosses on top of the left thigh, and we gently catch the left leg. Right knee draws away from the body. We can gently pulse here or sway side to side. Unwinding the legs, knees lower to the left, body twist to the right, right shoulder in contact with the earth. Three deep breaths. Coming back through center, nice and slow. Let's extend the toes to the sky, arms overhead. And we'll slowly lower those legs for five, four, three, two, and one. We can bring the knees in, gently rolling up, little baby rolls up through that spine, or we can roll to one side to make our way up. We will roll over the knees or just swivel, and we'll finish with a little bit of a stretch for those arms because we worked them pretty good today too. Extending them behind, little shoulder stretch, gently releasing, inhale up through fifth, left palm, plants down on that back, catching the left elbow, and we press the head into the left arm to get deep into the tricep stretch. Nice tall spine. 
Inhale through your fifth. Exhale, we switch sides. Inhale up through fifth. Exhale through second. Let's finish up just by extending that left arm across the body and catching with our right hand. Opening through second, switching sides. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing there for a second. Opening through second, final little stretch here. Gaze lifts. We release palms to our thighs. If it's later in the day, place the palms down and act of going inside. If it's earlier and you want some energy, you can flip those palms up. And let's simply close the eyes, connecting with our breath. Watch as it travels in through the nose, deep into the belly. And watch as the breath travels up, 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 and out through the mouth this time, nice and slow. Let every last bit of air out. We can place one hand on our heart, followed by the other. And let's finish by giving ourselves a little bit of gratitude and a little bit of love. So let's say in our head or out loud to ourselves, I love you. I love you. Gently releasing the hands, blinking open the eyes. We're all done. Our second ballet body class. It was a longer one today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it for you and I will see you beautiful ballerina babies next time.